You must be very wicked. Huh? This witch deserves to die. She's worse than the devil himself. Oh, you'd have just helped me and crushed her to death. After all, nobody will even come for your arrest. My dear, what did you do to her that she hates you so much that she even wants you dead? Do that. Eh? Oh, wow. Sister, sorry. I'm sorry, okay? It's a long story. You don't understand. <laughs> sorry. So sorry. Chunasa. Where is your sister? I don't. I don't have a sister. Are you okay? Are you mad? You left there with your sister, you came back without her, and I'm asking where's your sister. You say, you say you don't have a sister. Don't let me repeat myself. Where is your twin sister? I can never be a sister to a witch. Ah ah. Chinasa. What happened? Why are you like this? She's not fine. Fine. She's not fine. She almost did this innocent girl. You must be a very stupid man. You know, this world would have been a better place for us all if only people like you can mind their business now. Why don't you go and take care of your family issues? Must you poke nose? Ha! He's less people. Chinasa. See, I don't have anything to tell you. But know this today. That wickedness is a debt. And it will surely come knocking someday. Please, sir. If really she's your sister, keep her away from this girl. She's not safe with her. Thank you very much, Jehovah Witness. Preacher. Thank you. Please go. Go and mind your business. Chinasa. Chinasa. Tears. Chidima, you are the architect of all the misfortune in this family. Aren't you aware of that? You caused all these problems. Why are you shedding all these crocodile tears? You don't even deserve to live. God knows I will never ever forgive you. I'm not even putting this your condition. Chinasa, why are you talking like this? What have I done to you? Why do you hate me so much? Oh, please, will you shut that latrine you come out? Chidima, don't push me. If you open that drainage you come out again, I will give you an unforgettable slap you will never ever forget in your miserable life. What is all this? Our parents are no more, all because of your stupid and useless passion for success. Oh, I remember on that day, I pleaded with you not to go for that stupid audition. But what did you do? You insisted that mom and dad would follow you just to cheer you up. Now where are they? I hope they are still clapping for you in their grave. Witch. <laughs> oh, Chinasa. That same accident cost me one of my legs. I regret 
dragging her parents to that audition. I regret it every day. I wish I died instead of them. I wish huh? I was the one that died. How did you know what is in my mind? Oh, this girl, you must truly be a witch. Do you know that I even wish they had amputated your two legs? It would have been better because. I don't even know who is sponsoring the bread you are breathing because you don't deserve to live. I hate you. I hate you for making me an orphan. To hell with you and your meaningless passion. I want to die. I just want to die. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. Stop! How long will you continue to hurt yourself? Huh? How long? Can I forgive myself? Chile, my there is nothing like forgiving yourself. You did nothing wrong. But it's because of me we are orphans today. Oh. It was because of me we lost our parents. She didn't have told you times with that number that it wasn't your fault. It was just an accident. Okay, come to think of it. Were you like this before? Was this how God created you? You also lost a leg in that accident. So why are you killing yourself over nothing? But I... Oh, she didn't <laughs> Stop this self persecution Stop it! your fault. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, come with me. Come with me. Stop crying. Hmm? Stop crying. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I need to talk to you. About what? Chinasa. I don't like the way you maltreat your twin sister, Chidema. Your only sister. What has happened to your sister's feeling that you used to have? Where have your conscience gone to? Chidema deserves our love and care. Now that she's in this her present condition. And what about my condition? Hmm? What condition are you talking about? My condition as an orphan. Brother, don't you think I deserve to be loved and cared for? I also deserve pity as well. Chidimai is the main reason we are in this bad condition today. That wicked and heartless sister of yours is the reason we are in this bad condition today. She committed murder and she gets pampered and loved as a reward. 
I'll sue this F. Hey, shut up, shut up. Shut up, Jemaza. That girl did nothing bad. A child that seeks for her parents' support did nothing wrong. Now tell me, have you forgotten that she lost her leg in that same accident? If she had died in that accident, would you have been happy? Yes, I would have been very, very happy. She should just get out of our lives. She just keep on making things worse. Her presence in this house pisses me off. Her existence just disgusts me. I hate her and she will never get any atom of love from me. Not now, Chilasa. never. Chilasa. I know what is your problem. Like the devil and the skull that are having secret meeting in this guy's heart. you that your tears will not solve your problem. Instead, it will distract you, confuse you, wear you down, leaving you with little or no inspiration to creatively pursue your dreams. My dear sister, it is you against the world. To survive in this world is like going to war. It is a battleground. If you retreat, your enemy we win over you. If you surrender, you will eventually lose out. It is time to make your choice. Are you going to sit down and pity yourself, then get drowned with your condition? Or are you going to stand up and face the world? Do you want to fail? Or do you want to win? And I'm waiting for your response. I am ready to face the world. That is it. Now the spirit is connecting. You are doing very well. If you believe, you can do it. Brother, I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. Am I still beautiful like this? Beautiful? <laughs> that is an understatement. You are not just beautiful because you have already conquered beauty. You are charming, pretty, presentable, and naturally endowed. You know what? Don't worry. I will get you a bigger mirror so that you stand and see the good work of God. Then you will then appreciate him. But brother, some people used to call me one leg ugly girl. Don't mind them, my dear sister. They are only intimidated with your beauty. Not just because you are beautiful, but also smart and intelligent. See, you see those people insulting and abusing you. 
they wish to be like you. Let me tell you, if you were not my sister, I wouldn't have think twice to ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. You always have a way of making me happy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have asked for any other better brother. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my sister. My sister. <laughs> Chidima, have you gone nuts? Or did they amputate your brains too? Excuse me, wait, so you have the gods, eh? To ask me to fetch water for you. Oh, do I look like your slave? Or am I your house girl? See, let me tell you something. You see all these things there, eh? all this suffering. It's just the genesis. By the time you get to Songs of Solomon, ha, huh, you would have fainted. And then getting close to Matthew, Mark, then Luke and John, you'll be dead by then. Rubbish, I'm gonna fetch water for you. I'm mad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your Rubbish. Take my bath. I begged you to let me fetch this water. You refused. I struggled to get this water. Please, I beg you, allow me to take my bath in peace. Peace. You are very stupid. You hear me? You are very, very stupid. You see me in this house. You must be a very big fool at your age and size, idiot. So you don't know the right bucket to use, Abby? Eh? Please go and look for the other bucket. I want to use this one. Thank you very much. One leg. Please allow me to take my bath in peace now. Peace? In this house? Hey, Chidema, you want peace? Okay. Let me give you peace. Let me show you peace. Eh? Take peace! For that peace, one leg! Idiot! Devil! Witch! That's what you are! Murderer! A monster! Idiot! Don't come here if you want to die! Die! Don't come here if you want to die! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you with passion! Idiot!
Where were you going before she attacked you? Audition. Audition? Yes, you don't want me to go. Oh. Um, which of the audition? Movie audition or dancing audition? Dancing audition. audition. Hey, with which leg? You have mine though. Even people that have two legs have not finished dancing. You want to go and compete with normal people. Eh? It's alright. Keep deceiving yourself. <laughs> Over ambitious one leg. <laughs> you! You! One day, you will eat your words. But I leave that thing. You and I know that there is no food in this house. See, let me advise you. Eh? <laughs> you have a golden opportunity. Why don't you want to utilize it? Go out there, carry plates. We have plates. Go and beg. Go to the church, go to market, go to schools. And beg for money. That is what physically challenged people like you do. There is nothing else in this life. Your hope is lost. Eh? Oh, shut up! Idiot! <laughs> don't go and dance. <laughs> Hey. This is your mouth. This is your mouth. We we'll surely put you in trouble one day. Gina, sir. I've heard your advice. But I have a word for you before you go. I may be physically challenged. Or not mentally challenged. Nor spiritually challenged. As for your advice. Noted. I've heard your version. But let me hear from my creator. If it's in support of what you said, then I rest my case. Hmm. Sorry. Wow. Hey! So touchy. I'm impressed. I mean, you're good. But I leave that thing. Let me tell you something. Hey, there is no pastor in this life that will restore this your condition. You better stop dreaming and come back to reality. <laughs> But I start facing reality and stop dreaming. My sister, my sister, don't mind her. My God, our God, who lives in heaven, will surely remember you one day. So cry. To follow you to work so we can make a lot of money together. Chidima. Yes, brother. Stop stressing yourself. Why are you making it look as if by going out to get food in this house is not enough? Hmm? You must not work for us. I will work harder. I will always make sure that there is food for us to eat in this house. 
that is my promise. Brother, why are you breaking my heart? Now you won't sound like Chinasa. Have you forgotten how you used to encourage me? Brother, I'm a very strong girl and I can do it. And I believe people out there will appreciate me and my talents. I'm sure about that. I know you can do it. But it is not all about going to work or going for auditions. There are many other good things that one could do in life and still achieve it. Now look at it this way. On the verge of trying to survive and going for audition, we lost our both parents and our dreams shattered. In the same process, you lost one of your legs. Tell me, my sister, is that not enough sign that it is not working? Brother, everything happens for a reason. Those are common challenges every great man and women face in life. And I am not an exception, you know. Common, you said. Mm -hmm. We lost our both parents, and you say it is common. You equally lost one of your legs, and you refer to it as common. Come on. Huh? Why are you trying to make me feel guilty now? I'm sorry, my sister. I'm sorry, my sister. I don't need to hurt you. Hmm? So tell me, now that you don't have any wig, would you still go for the audition? Of course. Brother, let me tell you something. It is not about the wig, but the head that wears the wig. Brother, I don't need any wig to make it in life. All I need is my brain and my mind working together. Brother, have you forgotten that common saying that says, the race is of the strong and not the weak. Thank God the audition is of two bad, so I'll go for the other one tomorrow. My sweet sister, mm -hmm. you know one thing I love about you? You don't easily give up on your dreams. Keep it up. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. This place depends on Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. Break down, don't break down, don't give up, don't give up. This life is easy. Young man, what is your name? My name is Ntadete. Ntadete? Mm. Wow. Nte what? Nte Adete. Ntadete. Wow. Nte Adete. Adet. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can we see what we have? Yes. Okay. Okay, you can step back. Okay. Next. Next. Uh, what's your name? Chidema Kemefuna. Chidema Kemefuna. Yes, sir. Okay, Chidema Kemefuna. Yes, sir. Okay, Chidi, can you really do this? Yes, sir. Okay. Are you sure you can do this? Yes, sir. 
Okay, let's see. You do. Um, Chidi Man Kemefla, right? Yes, sir. Chidi Man Kemefla. Um, you are good. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Um, really, this is a fact. This is awesome. Thank you, sir. It's very stunning. Huh? Thank you, sir. Um, I can see you have you have this energy. You have this energy. And your visual expression was really wonderful. Yes. Thank it you. It was magnifying. Um, but I'm sorry, Chidima. Um, I'm deeply sorry that you cannot be part of this competition. But why, sir? No doubt that you're beautiful. But at the same time, you're physically challenged. We need people with the both legs, not with one leg. This is a multinational competition. It's not a child's game. I'm sorry, my dear. Um, Chidima, please um, uh, don't feel bad or disappointed or demoralized about what I'm going to tell you. I'm sorry. This entertainment is not for people like you. Uh, people disabled like you shouldn't be disturbing themselves, running around for competitions and auditions. Please, uh, there are some professionals you can also meet. Maybe you can benefit from them. So I will advise you to look for such professions to help you face your career. Thank you, sir. Um, please come back. Chidima, I'm not done yet. Oh. Oh. Next. Good afternoon. Uh, please, what's your name? Praise. Come what? again. Praise Michael. Praise Michael. Michael. Okay. You sure you can do this? Yes, sir. Okay. Praise Michael. Do you really know how to sing? This one you are answering praise. <laughs> okay, let's see what you have, praise. DJ.
Everything you wanna be Learn to be strong You shall win Life is a stage Where you need to work hard You don't need to quit With us can never win You need to be strong Be strong in yourself for tomorrow. tomorrow. Uh, hello, sister man, how are you? I will be fine if you tell me what I need to do. I already know that's why you're calling me. No show yet. Okay then, let's change form and this time around. Let's go. Meaning what? Hey, can I come back to the village and eat your wife? Stop wasting time. Sister, I don't know why you're disturbing yourself. I am still very young. Sister, I am not even up to 35. Why are you disturbing yourself now, eh? I will pick a wife. Relax now. No, 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 no. Do not be deceived by that. No. Yeah? If getting married to the city ladies is being difficult, then let us try getting a wife in the village. Yeah? There are beautiful village girls here that even have no advantage of giving birth soon because some of them are giving birth in the village. Wait, too. sister. What are you? Are you saying I should come back to the village and pick a wife? Somebody that has given birth in her mother's eye? Is that why are you talking like this now? Eh? What is even wrong with that? Eh? Is there anything wrong with that? Besides, I do not see love in the eyes of those girls in the city. Look at them. If they see that you are delaying in making money to marry, they will leave it to your better friend or they will push you into being a win. Yeah? Most of those city ladies do not have love in their heart. What I see is lost and I am told. And meanwhile, most of them do not eat well in their parents' house. Yeah? Stop wasting time, my brother. Please, let us consider coming back to the village to pick your wife. You will like it though. Ekele, you will like it. Uh, sister, see ya. This is what we'll do. In the next upcoming jam, I will register you. Do you understand? Because staying in that village is really affecting your reasoning. Look, what is this now? What are you saying? Is that an insult or what? No, no sister. I, I'm not insulting you. Eh? Listen. Okay, fine. I will call you back later. I'm still trying to figure out something. Something very important. Because I will call you back, oh? Okay, then. I, I will be waiting for your call. Eh? Call me, oh. And I will start from where I stopped. Ah. What is this now? Chidima, my love. Why are you putting out the hard face? Hmm? What is the problem? You know I am like the shoulder 
that you can always lean on when anything is bothering you. So tell me, what is it? I am a queen. And no one has the right to make me sad. I am cheerful and beautiful. Hmm. I like that. Cheerful and beautiful. Indeed, you are a queen. See, Chilema, if I tell you how you look with that smiley face, eh? <laughs> you always be smiling every day. Tell me, how do I look? <laughs> of course I'll do that, it's my job. You are like an angel. Spotless, without any stain of sin. You are pure. You are white. You are immaculate. <laughs> In fact, let me tell you the truth. Let me not bust your brain. You are the most beautiful woman ever created by God and I stand to be corrected. Mm -hmm. So you're making my head swell. Hope you're not flattering me. Oh no, you know I can't flatter you. You know I can't do that. Hmm? You are beautiful. Look at your face. Smile again, smile again. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Um, um, Chiruma, hmm? there is something I want to tell you. What's that? Why do I have this feeling that I know what you want to say? What? Hmm. Tell me now, <laughs> Mr. Loo, <laughs> tell me. Asamwa. <laughs> Look at your pointed nose. This girl's situation is not getting better at all. What will I do now? Where do I start from? Her parents are dead already. How do I cope with that situation? Not even because one of her legs is amputated. Who knows how she will look like if she eventually survives this. I think I better find my way now. Ah. But I love you, Chidima. My beautiful Chidima with one leg. Banana. I have to consider future. It's true they say love is mine. But not in this case. Goodbye, Chidima. This is the end of the 24 hours. Goodbye. has not been the same day since I left this girl. Everything turned upside down the moment I left her, which is the reason I am still in this remote area. I suppose I have gone, down, gone back to my village to do one of two things. If finally she survived this accident, that means 
go I have to go and look for this. I have to go and find her. Let me go and check if if she's the person I saw. And if finally she's the one I saw. I will never, I will never leave her again, no matter what happens. I will never. Where is your sister? I can't remember being a guiding angel to anyone. Oh, shut up. Is that the answer to my question? I said, where is your twin sister? How am I supposed to know her whereabouts? A full grown woman like that? Ha! Huh? Take this thing. Go and prepare something for us to eat. It's not my turn to go go. Let me come back and the food is not ready. Then I will tell you that making money is not easy. Let me go look for your sister. Stupid girl. Is this you? Ekene, you are very wicked. If everyone in this whole world could abandon me, never did I ever think for one second that you could leave me. Did your sister not tell you how often I visited the hospital? As a matter of fact, she was the one that told me that you did not make it. Yes. So you thought I was dead? You thought I was dead? Well, as you can see, I am alive. God Almighty saved me. I may not be the complete chicken mother you used to know. Everything might have left me. But my vision never left me. Please forgive me. I know you see me as the most wicked person on earth. I lost you before. And I have found you. I promise. I will not let you go again. Please. I hate you so much. Don't ever come anywhere close to me. To you. I am dead. So let it remain like that in your heart. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Let me! Just like this bottle cannot be amended, so shall the heart you left broken can never be amended.
Hello? Uh -huh. My nigga, how far? And it's you. Which show? Which show? I thought you were supposed to be in the farm by now. Don't be stupid. The drat bat your hand. Can't you come and farm? Listen, I don't have your time. I don't have your time now, please. If you must know, the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with just rejected me. She doesn't love me anymore. She told me words that broke my heart. She won't even give me a chance to explain things to her. I did not ask you to fall in love again, ne? I only ask you to marry and bear children. Eh? Have you not seen the letter just on, on love? Eh? Which love? Listen, this is no time for joke, okay? This is no time for joke. I don't joke with matters of the heart. I love this girl and I want to be with her. That's all. Hey! Ekene, you are mad. Ekene, you are mad. Ekene, why will you be loose on women? Eh? I have warned you severally concerning these city ladies. They are not ready for marriage. Tell me, how would they be ready for marriage? When they are busy buying all the bleaching cream in the market, they want to be whiter than Michael Jackson. Yeah? Oh, Chineke Mo. Hi! Okay, now tell me, uh, th tell me, just tell me, how can they marry? How can they marry? When they will be in beer palo drinking away their life. When they now approach to 30 to 35, they will be running around to all the churches in this whole world, disturbing the innocent pastors. For miracle husband. Yeah? Hey, my brother. Please, please, I beg you. Come back to the village and pick a wife. These people will not break your heart. They will love you for who you are and not for what you are. Sister, this girl is God sent. She is God sent to my life. I love her with everything inside of me. I love her more than life itself. Hey! Hey! Ekene, you need deliverance. You need deliverance, Ekene. I don't blame you. I blame those brains of yours you disturb. Because these brains this time around, eh? Hello? 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 Hello?
What are you doing to yourself? I have told you to forget about him. Why are men so wicked? Look, my sister. Humans are bound to disappoint any time. You don't need to put a trust on anyone. You have a promising career ahead of you. Why are you distracting yourself? I don't even know why I even ran into him. I've already erased him from my heart completely. If you have, then forget about him. Let it go completely. <laughs> my sister, come, let's go inside. This world is wicked. Let's go inside. <laughs> Break down, don't break down, don't give up, don't give up. This life is no easy. This life is no easy. My darling, don't my love. Down. I want to go to the market. All right, mm -hmm. but make sure you come back on time. Okay. Um, did they, can I call you? No. Did he call you? Yeah, the way he was sounding on phone wasn't very nice. Oh. Oh, okay. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, cut us here. Good afternoon. What is it? Good afternoon. Afternoon. It's like something is eating you up again. What's the problem? Sit down. Sit down, talk to me. I know I messed up completely. Which is the reason I I have come to seek advice from both of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. What do I do? If you have impregnated a woman, eh? Don't just try it. I don't want you to make the same mistake your older sister made. That would have been a different case if that's the problem. Yeah. But it's not. So what is it? Um, take it easy with him. He said he came here to seek for advice, not to be condemned or to be threatened. Huh? Now let us hear him out first. I let him talk. We can begin to talk. I was in a relationship with someone I loved so much. I loved her to the point that I have already made up my mind to settle down with her. Until her presence in in my life was a whole lot of luck. But something happened along the line. She she had an accident with her parents. Oh, her, her mother and her father died on the spot. Mm -hmm. Her condition was too too bad. Too critical but that I didn't know what else to do. The last time I visited the hospital, her twin sister told me that her sister had died. Oh. Hey. Oh, sorry. I, I kept distance so I, I could keep her memory far from me so I can move on with my life. To my greatest shock, Auntie, I saw her alive and strong. Oh. I tried to get back to her to ask her to accept me back. But she refused completely. She said I should never come anywhere close to her. Sister, my, see my heart is broken. Well, now you see that thing I've been telling you. I've always told you to be patient in life. Let us tell ourselves the truth here. If you were in her condition, would you have accepted her back? Eh? No, tell me. Well, I'm so sorry to let you know that you never loved her. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if you did, you wouldn't have just let her go like that. Auntie, I loved her with my life. Mm. She, she meant the word to me. Seriously, I loved her. 
my love. You see, you're getting the, all this wrong. Can't you see the sincerity in his eyes? Can't you see it? My boy, listen to me. In this world, if you intend to get anything, you must suffer for it. I know it will be difficult for her to accept you back. But you must try to get back into her life. If both of you love each other like you said, she will love you again. And you will get on again. But this is my advice, boy. If she accepts you again, don't you ever, ever leave her again. Okay? Yes, sir. Well, I agree with my husband. This time around, truly, if you get her, you have to prove yourself. Prove that you love her. But you cannot kill yourself. If both of you are meant to be together, it will surely happen. If not, after all, there are so many girls out there, very beautiful ones, looking for husbands. Sister, I don't want many of them. I just want this one. Now then, go for her. Go for her. Okay. Hey. Hey. Why did you lie to me? Hmm? What did I do here? Why did you lie to me? The last time I came to the hospital, you told me categorically that your twin sister was dead. How could you be this heartless to wish your own sister dead? How? Is that why you are shouting? No, tell me. Why is it that people are so blind to see when someone is trying to help them? What has she got to offer you? Hmm? And how is that your business? How is that supposed to be your business? What is going on here? Mr. Man, what are you doing here? She lied to me. She lied to me. The last time I came to the hospital to check on your sister, she told me that her own twin sister was dead. Tell me, how could she be this wicked? How could she be so wicked to wish her own sister dead? You've hurt me in a million ways. What did I ever do to you to deserve this wickedness? And as for you, thanks for believing her. Oh, goodness. You have hurt me. You have cost me my happiness. And I swear you will pay for it. My friend, will you shut up and don't be stupid? What are you talking about? You are not supposed to be thanking me. I give you a chance to get a better future. Yes. What can a one-legged girl even offer you? Tell me. God will judge you. God will surely judge you for all the wickedness you have shown to your twin sister, Chirema. Tell me, what has she done to you to deserve all this? What has that poor girl done? What has she done to deserve all this from you? Tell me, what has that poor girl done? They fuck up, bro. After all this, you're fine. No guess then. You not allow this food to, to, to digest. Chima, Chima, please. I want you to help me talk to your sister, please. Please help me tell tell her it wasn't entirely my fault. She caused it. She lied to me. Please tell her to give me a second chance. I, I will not leave her this time around, please. I will talk to you later. But for now. You may leave. Leave.
you know I hate to see you in this mood. Though I understand how you feel. You don't know how I feel. I feel rejected. I feel dead. How can my own sister hate me this much? What have I ever done to her? My heart is broken. You are not rejected. You are not dead. And no one hates you. Chinasa is just being self-centered. And I don't want you to take it to heart. At least, there is another proof that someone cares for you. Mm. I saw sincerity in that young man's eyes. I don't want to talk about him. What my sister told him was not enough reason for him to... for him not to check on me all these years. I feel he was just giving all those reasons to justify him not checking on me. If you wanted to run away, he wouldn't have come back looking for you. My dear sister, even if you don't want to give him a second chance, I beg you, please, hear him out. What are you doing here? I thought I was dead to you. I know you're right to feel whatever thing you want to feel. You can see me whichever way you want to see me. All I ask is that you will forgive me. I don't have any reason to quantify my actions. Please, forgive me. I don't want to question you. But what do you really want from me? Two years ago, I asked you to marry me, but you refused. Please don't say no to me again. It will break my heart. You are the one I want to be with. Please. Do you want me to marry you? Yes. Yes. I want you to marry me. Yes. Please stand up. Please stand up. Are you sure? Yeah, stand up. I feel embarrassed you kneeling before me. I can I appreciate what you feel for me. Just look at me. I am not that beautiful princess Chidema that I used to have her two legs. You remember how we used to play under the rain? All our football games, all our fun times, they are all gone. We can't have them back. It's over, Ekene. My love. My love for you is unconditional. I don't see you the way you are. I don't see you the way you see yourself. 
you are still that beautiful damsel that loving caring and sweet girl you used to be all i want is for us to be together please give us the chance i wish i could say yes to your request in fact i appreciate that you still love me Thanks for still coming back to me. But the thing is, I have a career to protect. My goals, my dreams, and my vision. Marriage will be a big distraction to that big picture I have in mind. Chidema, I know you are so passionate about your dreams your goals and your visions in life, especially your study. Now I understand your fear. I am here to help you. I promise to help you achieve your goals in life. I promise to stand by you, to help you to climb the ladder of success. We need ourselves. Together, we will make it. I'm so sorry again, eh? but no one will come in between me and my ambition. If you search, you would see someone better than I am. I'm so sorry again. Eh? I love you so much, and you deserve someone better. And I want you. No one can stand in between us. Trust me. Hey. <laughs> it's like I'll be missing a lot. Please, what is going on here? <laughs> Wait. Though. Don't tell me you are still begging her. Huh? Isn't it obvious? Can't you see that she's just a total waste of time? Huh? I did not ask for your opinion, you twat. You joy killer. Yes, you succeeded in setting us apart. I will not let you do it again. You must be very stupid. Look at you. You're such an empty vessel. I was even thinking that you have sense. Ha! Huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's not your fault. I will not blame you. You have, you have just been bewitched. Yes, that's just it. And you can't see it. But it's just paining me. It's paining me because you will die of suffering, no? You will just die of suffering. Ha! Sorry. Continue. No bed. <laughs> you can say whatever you want to say. My heart belongs to her. Next person, please. What is your name? Doris Okori. Doris? Okori. Okay. You're welcome. Are you sure you can do this? Yes. Okay. Then let's see what you have. Okay. Thank you, sir.
Yeah, you are you're welcome. What is your name? Chuka Bernard. Chuka what? Bernard. Chuka Bernard, okay. Okay. What is your name there? You sure you want to participate in this? Yes, sir. And you can do this? Yes, sir. Okay, let's see what you got. Thank you. DJ! Um, what is your name again? Chuka Bernard. Chuka Bernard. Please, we'll, we'll call you back. We'll get back to you. Chidima Kemefuna. Chidima. Chidima Kemefuna. Chidima Kemefuna. Well, I'm so surprised to see the kind of person, your kind of person here. Um, are you sure you can do this? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. Okay, let's see what you have. Okay, sir. Thank you. You said the name is what? Chidema Nkemefuna. Chidema Nkemefuna. Chidema, you, you did exceptionally great here. I recommend you for that. Thank you, sir. Your performance was uh, mind blowing here. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. Let's keep it up. I don't know what. I said it Yes. Um, Chidema, you did wonderful. Your dancing, the way you are dancing, oh, really touched my heart. You did well. Sorry. But, um, you see, what we are looking for are beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. For a musical video shoot. But, um, I'm so sorry to say this. You can try next time. Please. Please. Try next time.
Don't break down. Don't break down. Don't give up. Don't give up. This life is not easy. This life is not easy. Don't break down. Don't break down. Don't relent. Don't relent. This life is not easy. Anything you wanna do, anything you wanna do, is wrong. This one, you shall win. But you know, how did it go? Brother, I promise not to give up on myself. What happened? It didn't go well, brother. Today is the worst day ever. Everybody was clapping for me. I danced like it was my last dance audition. I gave him my all. <sighs> but the judge said, I should not waste my time. They all say the same thing, as if they planned it. <sighs> when the world rejects me. God takes me into his arms. It's fine, brother. It's fine. Chidima. It's enough. From this day, there will be no more auditions for you. I want you to stop everything about going to audition. In fact, I want to take it up to myself to make sure you go back to school. I will do anything humanly possible to send you back to school. No more auditions. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, don't, don't put that yourself. I'm not even thinking of... No, 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 no. no. You must go back to school. Hey! Brother! No, no. Did I hear you say you want to take her back to school? No, no. It's not fair. This is cheating. What now happens to me? Why are you pushing me away? Even if you are considering taking anyone to school, it should be me. I'm not this switch. She doesn't deserve it. Wait, though. Even if you want to take her to school, which leg will she use and be going to the school? At least I have my two legs now. I should be the one going to school and not her. You want to take her hey, to shut up, school? Shut up, shut up, shut up. You are not in a position to tell me what to do in this house. I decide what happens in this house. I will only consider sending you to school when you make up to insist from your evil way. You get killed. You want to go back to school? My friend, get inside. So this guy has been, has, has been listening to our conversation since. around the shop very well. What kind of job do you think you can do here? Ma, I can't do anything. I can't even be your sales girl. <laughs> it is true I'm looking for a sales girl. Definitely not somebody like you. Please, I don't think you can help me. Alright? Ma, please no. I can't do anything. Ma, I'm very strong. Please. Ma, please, I need the job. Please, I'm done with you. I'm done with this discussion. Please, you are free to go. Ma, please, I'm begging you, please. I said I am done with you. Leave my shop. I said leave. Leave. Look at this one like again. Want to come and die in my hand. Please go. Go, I don't want trouble. Go, I beg. Leave my shop. Don't break down. Don't break down. Don't give up. Don't give up. This life is not easy. This life is not easy. Don't break down. Don't break down. Don't relent. This life is not easy. Anything you want to do, anything you want to do, it's wrong. This one, you shall win. You shall win, but I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. I am so happy to see you step into my house after a very long time. Please, what can I offer you? 
Mm, nothing, I'm fine. Ah, come on, are you sure you're fine? Yes. Mm, sit down, there's something very important I want to tell you. Ah, okay. Ekene. Yes. I have slept over your request. Okay. And I say yes. You said yes! You say yes! Yes, I'll marry you. She said yes! She said yes! Finally she said Adaku! You said yes! Like you ma Oh my goodness! Adaku, see you! Listen, she said yes! She said yes! Auntie, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I want to be with you. And I want to be with you too. You're sounding very happy. You. Uh, he's with me here. Yes, I will. That's very serious. Okay. Go ahead. He's hearing you. Um, Hello. Sir, uh, I want to thank you and your wife in a very special way. No. I heed to your instructions and. Uh, she has finally accepted me back. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's great. Ah, I'm so happy for you. That's my nephew. <laughs> oh. And Ken, I'm so happy for you. You have to bring her here so we can see her with our own eyes. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> I cannot wait to see her. <laughs> have you told your sister? Um, no, I have not. I will do that. Um, in due time. If I call her now, she will over-exaggerate everything, you know now. <laughs> so I want to call her when I'm ready to bring her to the village. Oh. Okay, but do not wait for too long, go. Hmm? Um, thank you, sir. God bless you and your wife. Thank Amen. you, thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> you see, my love. Wow. True love overcomes all sin. Yes. I'm so happy for him. Me too, I'm happy for him. <laughs> I can't wait to see her. Oh. You know my people and their choices when it comes to women. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello, Chima. I want to tell you both that I've accepted to marry a Kenny. You say? <laughs> hmm. That is good news. Brother, did you say good news? What is good about this bad news? Is he blind? Are you also blind? He's jobless. And you're almost crippled. How do you guys want to manage your predicaments? No, tell me. Ha. Huh. Oh, wow. Mr. Lecturer, wise one. So, what are you suggesting? What's my business? It's not even as if all of this discussion has anything to do with me. But, as a good Christian that I am, if you seek for my advice, I will say she should look for a better suitor. I'm not someone like a kinney, that's hungry graduate. Mm. So who could be this better choice? Brother, any rich man can be a better suitor. I'm not that hungry, wretched a kinney. It's not even as if we have money. 
Why would she be considering someone like that? A graduate that, that has no job? <laughs> Bye. Bravo. Special advisor. Hey, it's God, though, brother. Good. Good advice. I know you will not want to marry someone like Ekene, right? Go for beat. Over my dead body. Good. So now you have a very big opportunity to bring a classy husband to come and marry you so that we have someone rich in this family, right? No worry. Very soon, brother. I will make you proud. Idiot. Mumu. Don't you think it is because of this your bad attitude that no man has ever come to seek for your hand in marriage in this house or even come to look for you? Don't you think it's high time you start thinking of who will come here and marry you so that you will be free from your trouble in this house? Ah, uh, uh, brother, why are you disturbing yourself? Uh, is it not drink? Don't worry. I know your brand. Is it not anything? You will drink it. Don't worry. It's coming. I will make you proud. You make me proud. Talkative. Like that one. Oh, come on. Um, Chidema. Yes, brother. Tell Ekene and his people that whenever they are ready, that we are ready. Who are the we? Please count me out. Huh? Hello, sister Ami. Why, Oma? <laughs> My sweet sister. How are you doing? <laughs> I sense good news. I hope I'm right. Just guess now, guess. Hi! My brother. You know I'm not good at guessing. Eh? Is it a good news or a bad news? Well, it all depends on the one you want to hear. So guess. <laughs> My ear only hears good news and not bad news. <clears throat> it seems your brain is now working very active and super functioning. Ah, uh -uh. what's the meaning of that one now? Did I tell you I have brain tumor? In fact, don't even guess again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, no. No, 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 no. Please don't call the phone. No, 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 no. no. Uh, you know, today is Independence Day now. Eh? I want to exercise my own freedom. <laughs> Can't someone joke with you again? Please, what is it this time around? Have you found a wife? Yes, I have not just found a wife. I have found my better half. The woman of my dream, the love of my life. She has finally said yes. <laughs> hey! Has she finally said no to bleaching cream and club? <laughs> nah. What church does she attend? Uh, are, it, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter the church. The most important thing is that I found a wife. And she has agreed to marry me. That's it. Well, I'm just calling to inform you that I'll be bringing her to the village next week. So, you will see her. She's so beautiful. Hey! No, 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 no. You don't need to bother my wife. I am the one to take the whole risk in the whole world to go and look for her. My sister-in-law. Hey! No, 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 no. Don't disturb her. I hope all those things that I gave you is still remaining. Don't worry, I'll even bring more while coming. Well, I still have everything in surplus. So don't even bother bringing any food items. I am very, very okay. Eh, yeah, no problem. While coming, I will bring one jai. One jai. Eh? No, don't worry yourself. Eh, please, extend my greetings to my amiable wife. Tell her that I will come and see her. 
Why not? She will hear. She will hear. I will reach out to Auntie. Eh? I will tell Big Auntie that you have found a wife. You <laughs> got all the special. <laughs> all right now, bye bye. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey at least I will be free from Chatawan. Let us marry this and that and all that. In the house. What are you doing with all these things now? We still have food here. If you won't eat it, your wife will. Eh? Yeah. Hey. Did I use your head to carry it down to this place? Well, um, how was your trip? Please, the please answer question is no longer necessary. Um, where is my new wife? I'm coming. That's Nadako, the... Please take these things into the house. Sister, you're asking for your for, for the new wife. You barely got to this place and you're asking for the new wife. Ha! Relax now. My brother, you should know that's the reason why I am here. I yeah? Anything that will make me to leave my farm work down to the city, that thing is very, very important. Okay. So, where is she? Uh, well, you will see the new wife. Just, just relax. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> How come, man? Sister. Sweet, loving, and caring sister. Say, Elizabeth. Welcome, ma. If, if, if I hear one more from your mouth, eh, I will render you deaf and dumb. Hey, Mama Ebaliela, how did you do this? How did you manipulate my brother to this point? 
Away. I will tell you that I have a cure for this spiritual manipulation. Don't worry. What is my back? Sister, what are you doing? Holy Ghost fire! Sister, what? I want to deliver you. What is this now? Holy Ghost fire! What's the meaning Anywhere of this madness, sister? Holy Ghost fire pursuit. Anywhere the monster are gathered. Holy Ghost fire pursuit. Anywhere the monster are gathered. Holy Ghost fire pursuit. Sister, stop this madness. Deliver us. This thing now. Deliver us. Deliver us. You are embarrassing me, seriously. You are embarrassing me before my wife. Sister, I don't like it. What's this now? I what said is this it. now? I said it. Hey! This girl, they one name okay. Chine Keme, my brother has lost his senses. Eh? Hey! Ekene, of all the ladies in the city, you did not see any girl that befits your status. Is this cripple? Where did you pick her from? From the orphanage? Did you pick her from the street? On a young knee, if we are mebele ebele. Eh? On the Nenyaka, is it one of those people you help? I don't understand it. Hey! I'm very sure that wherever father is now, in the grave, he will be so disappointed in you. I am telling you honestly. Hey! Now look, let me tell you. Hey! hey, hey. You have jumped, jumped your water low. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Listen to me. My brother will never marry you. Get it into your skull head. Are you listening to me? He can never marry you. Over my dead body, will I can never marry you? Sister. Eh? What? Sister, listen to me. I don't like this nonsense. Please, I don't like it. If you have come here to cause trouble between me and my future, please start going. Hey, I said it. Yes, yeah, start going. Yes, I don't like What is this rubbish oh, now? Yeah, too oh, yeah, too oh, I said it. Hey! I said it. Hey, can I, let me tell you. I am assuring you this that however you ate that charm, you will vomit. It to the last of it. Hey. To the last drop of it, you will vomit it. Is it you? <laughs> you will never marry this girl. I will tell big auntie. I will go and tell her. You see this girl that has charmed you. It is not going to work. As far as I'm concerned. Eh? This girl, if you insist, I will break the remaining leg. You will not do, you will not you will not lay a finger on her. What is this now? If this girl did not live here now, you will see my madness! Sister, I don't like hey! it. Hey, 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 hey. Shut up and go inside. If you hold your water up, I'll get back. You know, you can't go one more here. Sister, I don't like this thing. I don't like this thing. Let's get to shoot. I don't like this thing. Let this girl start living here. Now. What is it? I will cause trouble here. I, I will do what I do here. This girl should better live here. It's okay, Kenna. Your sister is right. Mm -hmm. You deserve someone better than I am. Don't ask me. Don't like this. Beat me. Beat me. See the man. See the man. Let that go. I don't like this. What? What? I will break the man's neck. What's this now? If you want to beat me, beat me. Beat me. You have been delivered. I say you have been delivered. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ona. Kora ngwa ngwa ki la wa. Agu garu wa. Kora ngwa ngwa ki la wa. Agu garu go. Nonsense. Ekele, you will come back to this house and meet me. Agu na rola. You can never marry this girl. Ah ah. What nonsense? How can she carry a baby? How can she even carry pregnancy? Can she even go to the farm? Eh? What nonsense is this? Eh? Obrogu, Orugota, nonsense. If we go saga, all I gonna go to, all I gonna go to, all I gonna go nonsense. Now that you go, oh, 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 I'll be waiting for you again. I'm sure my father will be happy now that she has gone. Nonsense. Sister, I want to ask you one simple question and I need you to give me the answer. What is your mission in this house? Is that what your mission? Simple. To make this life a better place for you. Not with a disabled woman. One legged woman. So, Ekene, if I had not come to this place, this is what you would have brought back to the village. Eh? Hey! Mbao! It will not work, oh. If you are a power tapper or a hunter and you choose to marry that thing, I wouldn't have bothered. But now, you are a graduate. A graduate with a high pedigree. Sister, <laughs> I know what I went through when I lost this girl. I will not. I will not forgive you if I should lose her again because of you. I will not forgive you. I will never forgive you. 
Do you understand? I don't even know why I allow you to visit me here. I don't know why, I... sister, sister, sister. It's all letting them. I am here now. I am here now. Tomorrow we will go to one of these churches. Since you don't have eye now, don't worry. I will borrow you mine. I am now. I am the uncle. Sam, touch light. Where? Vam, vam, vam. Don't try to mine. I will look for a wife for you. That is very nice, though. Where? Who grow you? That 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 is very nice. That is very nice. What should you give for? What do you know? Eh? Eka kwe ba? Eka kwe ba? Sorry. Eka. Okay, kumu. Eh, nda apa jikule muku? Eh, we. Hey. Eh, we. Eh? Oh, our plan un. Unu chora kanga wa kanga. Ashi ashi. Ashi ashi. Yeah 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 yeah. Don't break down. Don't break down. Don't give up. This life is not easy. Don't break down. Don't break down. Don't relent. This life is not easy. Anything you wanna do, anything you wanna do, be strong. Be strong. You shall win. You shall win the battle. Anything you wanna be, learn to be strong. You shall win it. Life is a stage where you need to work hard. You don't need to quit. Quitters can never win. You need to be strong. Be strong in yourself. I thought you said you want to see a canal. I thought you said the sister came from the village to come and see you. So why are you crying? <laughs> hey! Drama. Did I not warn you? <laughs> she must have been rejected. <laughs> come to think of it. No family will allow their son. To marry a one-legged girl like you? No, now. Uh, uh, the moment you start realizing that fact, the better for you. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. Enough! Do you think you're better than her? You think you're better than her? Listen, even in her present condition, she is still far better than you. After all, someone is still asking for her hand in marriage. Tell me. Ever since you have been in this house, has anyone come to this house to look for you? Don't you know it is because of your wickedness and your bad attitude? Are you chasing them away? Listen, if I hear one more word, one more word from you, I will slap you! Brother Diva. <laughs> She's right. Oh. The bridge of my life has finally been broken. I feel like I am dead. But that woman humiliated me. Very good. She she called me all sorts of names. Uh -huh, no. <laughs> I felt my heart jumping off my chest. Brother, my whole world has finally crashed. My whole world has finally crumbled. Chidi must stop it. Stop it. This is not the end of your world. This is not the end of your life. Chidema. What about the dream? The aspiration? Chidema. Listen. Just because one stupid idiot who came from the village, who don't even know your words, says something to you. Is that why you want to give up? Is that why you want to give up the aspiration, the dreams? No! Chidema, look up. The future is bright. Oh, brother, it's all over. Chidema, the future is bright. It's all over. It's all Stop over. It. <laughs>
To see my, my brother. He would, he would have, have married that one legged like here, here into, into this, this family. Tofia! Chukwaju! Of every ladies in town, he did not see any wife to marry. Eh? Is that thing? Eh? That thing that has one leg. Chineke me! What kind of charm did that girl use? I worry how you cook again. Here, can you put him on a No. Hmm. I will have to go and report a kene to Big Auntie, so that he will help me and still talk sense into him. Na he abu akwa kau. I worry how go. Hey, ebe ka worry how bikun. Ebe abu na worry ya. Eh? Hey. Ebe re. Ibre ma kangeji bakashia ya. Can't get you back a share. Eh, Leo. Why you go wrong? Eh? How will she? Be, how will she even manage when she when she will take in? She will just be doing like this. Eh? How will she be carrying my baby? Eh? Hey! Anamo. 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 It can't happen. What is it? Adi, Adi, please, if you know how to talk to Ekene, please do that. Because if I do it myself, I will kill somebody. Oh, I thought uh, he has followed your instructions uh -huh. of getting a woman. Uh, what is the problem again? Hmm. My in-law. Hey, you need to see what I saw in Ekene's house. Do you know that of all the girls in this world, Ekene did not see anyone to marry, if not a half woman being? What do you mean by that? Auntie, I went to Ekene's house myself. What I saw, eh? I almost fainted. I almost fainted, Auntie. Do you know that Ekene brought in a one-legged girl in his house in the name of wife? A very ugly looking creature. What nonsense. One legged what? Is Ekene stupid? Oh. Is he mad? <laughs> Ekene is possessed. But thank God I delivered him instantly. I did not waste time. I sent that girl back in from his house. Straight. Uh. <laughs> See, I find it very difficult to believe what you're telling me now. I think I need to see a Kenya myself. There's no point. I still have his number now. Let me call him. What one nunca again? Nonsense. Yay! Are you sure you are part of my family? Eh, hey, Kenny? Are you sure it is the same blood that runs through your veins? How could you? How could you do a thing like that? Do you want people to mock us? Do you? Uh, calm down, my love. Well, let us talk as family. Allow the young man. Okay, now? Talk to us. Talk. Sir. 
What I don't understand is why these two people are taking this into personal. I don't know why they are taking it too personal. I am the one getting married to this girl and not either of them. Not either of them. The girl is not as bad as Amaraji told you. She is not. All right, Akinela. I want you to answer me one question. Is the girl one-legged? Uh -huh. huh. Has he suddenly gone deaf and dumb? My friend, open your mouth and talk to us. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. But her condition does not stop her from doing anything. She is still as strong and healthy as any one of us here. She is. And I love her the way she is. She is beautiful and I love her. Beautiful, I am quite dead. A woo beauty. Hi! You want to tell me that of all the beautiful girls in this world, you couldn't pick one that is beautiful and befits you? Eh? Listen, Ekene. I want you to stop every kind of relationship you're having with that girl at once. Yes. If not, Femme, may I add them? Hmm. Now, now, Ekene, get hold of yourself, all right? My love, you can't judge her without seeing her. We need to see her before we say anything. Need to see who? Where? I hope you are not planning on bringing that girl into this compound. You two want people to laugh at us, okay? Eh? It's okay, enough. Uh, don't say anything again, my love. Ikene, have you heard what I said? Yes, sir. Honestly, I do not understand why you should ask Ikene to bring that girl here. Eh? You know I hate rubbish. I do not like what I hate at all. But let it be clear that there is no way, absolutely no way, my nephew would marry that girl. It's not possible. My love. <laughs> You don't need to rush into issues without finding out the truth. Do you know what Ekene saw in her? Do you know? What did he see? Of Ihana Afobembo? Eh? Anyway, let me see that girl in this house first. I will not say anything for now. But if Ekene refuses to bring that girl here, eh? You may me add them. I will go to his house and destroy things. Calm down, my love. My love, calm down. Ekene will bring her here and we'll see with our eyes. What legged girl? Mm. <laughs> ah. Where is our legged girl? Where is she? I hope I'm. I, where is she? Good afternoon. Please, I am not here to exchange any pleasantries with you. I have come to warn you. If I sight your sister anywhere close to my brother again, eh? You see, the very next leg I will break the whole thing. Please, walk here because a bubble on us will go there. It is not my brother. So, who is your brother? In Ajumu, who is my brother? Ekene is my brother. Ekene is my brother. What one nigga? Let her not near my brother again. Uh, come on, calm down, calm down. Uh, come on, sit, come on, sit. I cannot calm down, no. If I come here again and find that girl in this house, now what you come? What you come to get me? Can't you sit down? Let's talk. Don't be poor, Wogi. Don't be cruel, Wogi. Eh? Is that is that how you do it? Is that how you manipulate men? Is that how you concoct men? It's not going to work, oh. It's not going to work. Want her to stay clear. Otherwise, I will kill her. Chinasa!
Um, Akena, okay, I am not too comfortable with this visit here. But I'm just trusting your words that nothing will happen to my sister. Because should anything happen to her, I will not take it lightly with anybody. You know I love her so much. Ah, uh -huh. you know I love her too now. Uh, trust me. Nothing will happen to you or your sister. Please, let's go. Are you sure your elder sister is not in here? No, she's not here. My, my aunt told me to bring you here. And I know she's the only person that can talk to Sister Mara to change her mind. You understand? Now that you have agreed to follow me, please don't change your mind. Yeah? Let's go. All right, now the way. This is my my chidima. Oh, yes. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Sit down, Thank you, sir. Don't you dare sit on my chair. How useless can you be? How shameless can you be? How dare you bring this thing into my house? It's either you are mad or you're blind or you've been bewitched. Are you mad? Uh, uh, my love, take it easy with them. Take it easy. My love, please. Let me handle this my own way. Auntie. This boy is stupid. Auntie, I don't like the way you and Sister Mary is taking this whole thing. Why can't you see things from my own point of view? Why? This is the woman I want to be with. Please, let us be. Are you mad? My love. If I hear a word from you again, you will know that I am still who I used to be. Are you mad? Um, sorry, ma'am. Oh, shut up and keep out of this. Now, let me tell you to your face. You gold digger. You and your useless sister cannot find a place in my family. You and your useless sister should get the hell out of my house. I'm sorry, ma'am. My sister is not useless. Even though you see her as one because of her physical challenge, she is still very useful and important to me. But let me tell you, you might chase us out of your house. Yes. But remember, our God will always welcome us. Chiruma, let's leave this place. Get out! Okay, yeah? Thank you very much. Thank you for rubbing our faces in the mud. Hey, hey, hey! If you dare step out of this house, don't you ever come back. And you will cease to be my nephew. There will be told. Let it be told that you cease to be my aunt because I choose to go for the woman I love. Let it be told! You people cease to see what I saw. Love. Love sees beyond physical challenge. Love sees. Take my word, boy. Go for what your heart wants. Love. And don't allow anything to change your mind for any reason at all. Did you hear me? The moment. Douglas. My love. Imoma. Eh? Sometimes you can be unbelievable. I didn't know you could ever say what you just said. Anyway, I don't blame you. He is not related to you in any way. But as for me, my nephew will never marry that one-legged being. I see doing here. I want to see my wife, my fiance. Please make sure. Are you this blind? Yeah? Even if you 
You don't have ears. Can't you see? Listen, that your sister must be a very good seer. Haven't been able to say what you can't even see. Seriously. Okay, fine. I understand. I know you are doing all this for pity. But you don't marry someone for pity. Open your eyes, though. Hmm. I thought she was supposed to be your twin sister. As a matter of fact, you're on this. Hey, 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 please! Just hold it there. I don't have a sister. Why are you sounding like this? Why are you sounding like this? See, okay. I like you. Mm -hmm. And I want what's best for you. Okay. Yes. And that's why I want to tell you some secrets that have been hidden from you. Secret? Yes. I can't stand to watch Chidema hurt you with her own mistakes. Mistakes? What mistakes? I'm sure she didn't tell you about having committed about four different abortions. Yes. And then in the process of aborting the fifth one, she lost her womb. What? How? How? I mean, when? How is that possible? See, Kenny, you know you are a very handsome young man. Why not go out there and look for someone else? You know, life with the disabled is very difficult, except you are ready to take distress. Okay? She's my sister. But... You can't, you can't risk it. Hmm? You can't, she can't even bear children for you. She has just one leg. Her chances of giving you children is no longer there. Think about it. Ah. Think about it, Ekene. God in heaven knows that I love my sister with all my heart, with my life. I can even sacrifice for her. But I love you too. And I want what's best for you. And so do I also feel for my sister. I have her interest at heart. But I can't let this happen to you guys. It's not going to work. Yes. And what I'm telling you is because I, 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 I don't want you to keep wallowing in, 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 the, in the dark. Please, just, just go. It's a pity. Some secrets that have been hidden from me. Secret? Yes. I can't stand to watch Chidema hurt you with her own mistakes. Mistakes? What mistakes? I'm sure she didn't tell you about having committed about four different abortions. Yes. And then in the process of aborting the fifth one, she lost her womb. When? How is that possible? See, Kenny, you know you are a very handsome young man. Why not go out there and look for someone else? You know, life with the disabled is very difficult, except you are ready to take distress. Okay? She's my sister. But you can't, you can't risk it. Hmm? You can't, she can't even bear children for you. She has just one leg.
think about it, Ekene. God in heaven knows that I love my sister with all my heart, with my life. I can even sacrifice for her. But I love you too. And I want what's best for you. And so do I also feel for my sister. I have an interest at heart. But I can't let this happen to you guys. It's not going to work. Yes. Do you know that all this while that Ekene has not called me to check on me? Huh. Even when I try calling him, he refused to pick my call. Yeah. Hmm. Auntie, whatever that girl did to my brother must be very strong. Huh. That boy needs prayers. I am sure he is not in his right senses. He needs our help. That is what I'm saying, Auntie. And that is why I am here. That is the reason I am here. Auntie, please. Come with me to Ekene's house. Let us go and catch him. I take him to one of these spiritual churches. By the time they vlog nonsense out of him. All those little, little evil spirits in him would jump away. Huh? My wife is not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere with you. What will you gain if you push this boy to a wrong woman? Huh? What will be your gain? Why don't you leave the innocent boy to follow his hard desire? If he loves the girl, well, it's his own stress. He is the one going to marry the girl, not you. Huh? Ekene is a man, and I am sure he knows what he wants. What does he want? Definitely not a one-legged woman. I mean, what future do they have together? What can she do? Can she give birth? In her condition, if she gets pregnant and gives birth, my nephew will become a house husband. Whoa. No, it will not happen. No, it's not possible. No. Talking about angels. So, Ekene? Nothing. You are alive, eh? You are alive and you refuse to pick my call, Ekene? Because you have been bewitched by that witch. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, again, you look troubled. What is the problem with you? Sir, I, I am confused. I am really confused. I don't know what to do again. Mm. Oh, what is the problem? Is it about uh, Chidima or what? Is she dead? Because that is the only news I want to hear now. Ongo? My love, I hate it when you talk this way. Ma. Let him talk. Again, I talk to us. Yesterday, I, I went to visit her in her house. I received shocking news of my life. If someone else told me that, I wouldn't believe it. But her twin sister was the person that told me this herself. She said, Chidima can no longer be a children. Yeah. Oh, she said her womb damaged while she was trying to abort the fifth baby. Mm -mm. The fifth one. Oh. Chidima has aborted five children. Five! And she kept it away from me. Why? Why would she do such to me? My love. Ochaja, and I will say to Kore Hey, hey! If I had told you this myself, you will not believe me. But it's good though that is coming out from the horse's mouth. Oh, boss, it's why holy. I quit forget. 
<laughs> okay. You disappoint me. You disappoint me. If you were not my blood, I would have asked you out of my compound. Yes. My love, have you seen it? What else can you say? I'm sure you are disappointed too. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. then. So, this is a very tight one for me to say. You need children in your marriage. Mm -hmm. That's the joy of family and marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what do you intend to do now? Oh, sir, I don't know what to do again. I do not know what to do or where else to go. But the truth still remains that I love this game with all my heart. My name is Auntie. Auntie, I'm going to get You truly love who? Ask me, you truly love who? One more word from your mouth, eh? One more word from your mouth, eh? Sit down. I know how to sort this out. Huh? You see, uh, Akena, you need to investigate this matter very well to know the truth. Huh? You must take your time to take your decision on this matter. Because matters of the heart, you need to really take your time. Okay? Akena? Ma. What is my name? Lady B. What am I to you? My auntie. Good. If I come to your house and see that girl's slippers, I will use it and flog you. How long will you help her to carry her clutches around? You can never cope with her. From the very moment I saw that girl, my spirit disliked her. You know, as a farmer, I will stand and tell you a ripe corn. Her sister must be right. The reason I ask you to marry is to give me a child. How is that going to be possible after five times abortion? I'm also sure that you listening to her saying she has already lost her womb during her last abortion. Please, my brother, use your head. Or better still, use mine if yours has failed to function. I don't want you to feel bad. I don't want you to feel less of yourself. But I doubt we are meant for each other. Yes. You said you have a dream. I want you to pursue your dreams. I don't want to be part of your business anymore. You cannot be my wife. And I cannot be your husband. I can't. Everyone has rejected me because I'm different. You were my last hope, Ekene. Now you too want to leave me. 
Why do you choose to believe your sister? Why do you choose to listen to side talks? I can What happened to our togetherness? What happened to the love we shared, Ekene? What happened to the promises we made to each other? Have you forgotten our trial times? Second time, you have killed me. For the second time, Ekene, you have shattered my heart. And my world is wrapped up. Ekene, you have added salt into my injury. what you will expect I guess is what you would see I don't listen to side talks I don't listen to people I only pick valid points and let go of the chaff I don't think I can cope with a physically challenged woman. <laughs> the thought of this marriage is over. Sorry for being late. I'm very sorry for being late. That's okay. Um, no problem, sir. Uh, we actually understand the road formation of the state. Yeah. So let's get down to business. Yes. Uh, we have been touring the African countries, and we still have not found someone similar to our superstar here, Fred Gibbons. So finally, we decided to do an audition in Nigeria. And Faith Givens has decided to come along for her physical sport. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. So that uh, she could at least give us a more lucrative perspective of what we're looking for. So, where have you sent the audition notices to this? Yeah, as a matter of fact, Mrs. Scott, we, we followed your project online and we know that it's really a, a heavy international project. Yes. Because of that, we sent out the audition notices to all the mega cities in this federation. Okay. Yes, yes, that's what we did. Uh, that's wonderful. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, Miss Faye? They're expecting you all to, to, to come. Everyone wants to have a sight of uh, forgiving. So the states are all expecting you. That's wonderful. Yes. Um, Faith? Yeah? Are you ready to tour the 36 states of Nigeria? Sure. Good. <laughs> That's good. Oh, Mr. Scott, I'm wishing you guys Ijawele. Ijawel? Meaning, safe journey. And I think that's just like the French would say, bon voyage. <laughs> <laughs> but, but before we commence on the tour, yes. like I told you over the phone, Imo State, my state, the land of hope, has a whole lot of talents waiting to be tapped. Potentials that are ripe for a picking. So we'd love you to see a footage. Because from my own 
perspective as a professional, I saw some similarities like you like you yeah. rightly requested. Yeah. We saw something that uh, that will correspond to the kind of things you want. So we have a, a footage, right? Yeah, yeah, mm. we do. Which footage is that? Uh, we had an audition some months back mm -hmm. and um, it's actually a musical video shoot. But there is, a, there is this uh, contestant that looks like what he wants. But there is a big problem here. What is the problem? Um, she's an amputee. As a, one of her legs is caught mm. off. Mm. Yeah. But I think you should uh, check out the footage by yourself. Yeah, I see it. Enjoy. Let's see the footage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, what? Let me see what I'm going to see. Mr. Samuel. Yes, Mr. Scott. This is a subtle what I want. Really? Then it's done. Well, anyway, there's still one more thing. Where is she? Mr. Scott, that is where I have a little challenge. You know, she was part of that audition. She did very well, as you can see. But because of her physical challenge, we were unable to select her for the actual uh, musical video shoot. Yeah. So, it's going to be kind of difficult to reach her. Oh. Mm -hmm. However, we, we have attendance list for these auditions okay. and uh, I believe that uh, we may be able to do something. Yeah, actually. Yes. And phone numbers numbers and, uh, yeah, contacts. contacts. I think we can find that. Mm. Uh, do you know what you're going to do? Mrs. Sam, I trust you. Try and get me this lady. Sure, if, if that's what you want, I'm sure that my men and I will get back to the office right after this meeting and get on it. The moment we reach her, we'll let you know. Okay. We'll do that ASAP. Please, make it as expedient as possible. We'll do that. Cancel the audition. Oh, no more at all? No more at all. This is what you want? This is what I want. All right, we'll get back, we'll get on it right away. Thank you. We'll get on it. Thank you so much. So, meanwhile, I'll allow you. This is it. This is where I end my own chapter of life. A life full of pain. Mystery. A child is born into the world to bring happiness, perhaps add to the family's treasure. But in my own case, I brought pain to my siblings. I caused the death of my parents. And I even was in my own situation. And now, the man I love so much has kicked me out of his life like a piece of trash. Just because he realized I could not add any value to his life. <laughs> Lord, please have mercy on me. Forgive me for my sins. Hold on. Okay. 
This is the list they all wrote their names. Beautiful. Okay. Let me see. So all we need to do is to find her name, her phone number, we call her and everything is resolved. You can do now. I saw her writing her name in this list. Her name is not here. And if her name is not there, where is the name? Find it. Or oh, is that not the file? Is it not the right file? It's not the right list? It is. Find the name. Find the name. Okay, but what is that her name again? Chi what? Chi the Chi man, that's what they say her name is. Yes. Chi the man, Chi the man. Okay, Chi the Okay, okay. What? I see them Chi the man here, but no oh. phone number. Jesus Christ. But why would she put a name without adding a phone number? I remember her giving a number to one of the contestants. Her name is uh, Doris. Yes, Doris. Doris. Yes. Who is this Doris? Doris is one of the contestants that participated in the musical shoot. Her name is uh, Doris oh, Okori. Yes, Doris Okori. Doris Okori. Yeah. So how can we get this Doris Okori? Her name should be in the list. Okay. And her contacts as well. Which list are we talking about? The same ones we have right before us. Yes. Then find it now. Find her name from the list. At least we could just call her. Oh, okay, okay. I think I have it. I have it here. This is your secret. Do it. This is our contact. That's right. Hello? Hello? Yes. Please, am I on to Doris Okori? Yes, I'm the one. And who is this? Well, my name is Mr. Samuel. I'm 
manager of Just Promoters. Do you know us? Yes, yes. Beautiful. Now listen, Doris Okoria. I want you to come to my office. We want you to come to the office right away. In fact, if you can make it here within 10 minutes or less, that would be appreciated. But what matters is that we need you like yesterday. Oh, oh no. I don't think I can make it. Actually, I'm on my way to the studio. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's no need to think at all. Just forget about the studio work. And get... Doris, are you sure you know Just Promoters? Yes, yes, Doris. Beautiful. And I say that we want you in our office right away. Can you make it? Uh, okay. I'm coming. That's fine. We'll be expecting you. That's great. Nice one. Nice one. I think we are making a headway. Yeah. Martin! Please accept my soul. Good night, brother Chima. Good night, Chima, sir. I forgive you for all the evils you did to me. You are Doris Okori, right? Yes, sir. Beautiful. Now, Doris, there is something that we need very importantly, and we believe you should have that information. Um, okay. Um, Doris, please, do you still remember that one-legged girl that you collected her number during the last audition? Mm, yes, I remember. That's great. Good. That's good. So what you need to do for us now, sweetheart, is to give us the contact. I need to call her right away, you know. Oh, no. I don't think I still have her number. Ah. You see, I lost my phone just after the shoot. So I just brought a new phone. I'm so sorry. It's bad news. But I know we have to find her. <laughs> Wait. Yes. Now you're Sorry. talking. She told me her address. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. You can find the place, right? Yes. Great. Sweetheart, you are going to take us to the place right away. Don't worry. You'll be very well rewarded. Chidema. Chidema. Is this how you want to pay me back? By taking your own life. Hey, Chidema! You 
God has rejected me. There's no more hope. Everyone might have rejected you. But let me ask you, has God rejected you? Have I ever backed down on you? Tell me, what have I not done for you? I go out of my way just to make you happy. I do everything. I hustle from money tonight. I do all sorts of jobs. Even jobs that are not up to my qualification as a graduate. Just to save you. Why are you bent on making me look like a fool? Chidima, let me ask you. Taking your life, will you solve the problem? But it's all over. I'm the reason why your life is like this. <laughs> Brother, I want to relieve you of the burden. I want you to concentrate on your own self because I've given up on myself already. She did my sister. Where is that passionate, strong woman I used to know? Where have you kept your real self? To the man. Remember the race is of the strong, not of the weak. Get yourself together. All these challenges you are seeing today will soon go. Chidima, my sister, be my friend. Show me where you have laid the lioness in you. And together, we shall resurrect her. Put yourself together and be strong. And together, we shall conquer the world. They said you can't. Show them you can. They said you cannot stand that you are one-legged. Stand up and tell them that you have the strength of a thousand souls. Prove to the world that there is no limit on what you can achieve. Tell them that you are limitless. Looking for one Miss Chidema. She works with crutches and one of her legs is amputated. Hey! Okay now. I knew it. I said it. I knew that one day that her witchcraft and idiotic character will sell her out. Have you seen it? Hey! Please, what uh, did she uh, steal? Uh, um, 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 young woman, uh, it's nothing like that. Anyway, do you know where we can find her? Ha! Yes. You are in the right place. You know what? I'm going to take you to where she is. I will personally take you to where she is. This time around, she's not going to escape. Follow me! You are very much welcome. Hey! Thank God we finally found you. Huh? Thank God. Sorry, uh, sir. What is going on? What has she done again? Um, 
Nothing at all. Hmm? Um, please, my dear, don't you remember me? Yes, I remember you. Mm, one of the judges from the last audition. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you see, what we need you to do is to come with us to the office right away. We have, we have, we have good news. Eh? Let's just go to our office. Uh, sir, huh? I am still confused. You can't just come here and ask her to follow you to your office. Why? <laughs> see, you don't have to be afraid. She has done nothing wrong. Hmm? She, is she your sister? Yes, uh, she's my younger sister. Oh, that makes it much more wonderful. Perfect. Yes. You see, you two can join us to the office. I don't bother. Don't bother yourself like I told you. When we get to the office, you will understand a whole lot better. We have wonderful news. Chidema, something that is going to change your life forever. Why don't you come? You know, come on, let's go. We have a car. Okay? <laughs> Listen, listen, it's fine, eh? It's fine. We'll come back These for people you. People are from the audition. Don't worry. Yeah, please, you got that suit, My audition. Hi! As a matter of fact, the audition has taken place in several African countries, but they have been unable to find the exact substance of what they want. As I speak to you right now, the director of this project is right here in Nigeria. And he's here with no less a person than a superstar that you all know. I believe that. Faith Givens. Yes. She's here to help them make sure they find the, the, what they truly want. They're here. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm saying, Mr. Chima. Uh, uh, sorry, sir. If I may ask... Yes. So, how does my sister fit in, considering her condition? Oh, Mr. Chima, you see, uh, your sister is the perfect kind for him. Though we've not seen her act before, but the last audition she performed very, very well. I think she's good to go. Moreover, don't you know there is ability in disability? <laughs> Besides, yes. This is a multi-million Naira project that has the capacity of changing the life of your sister and that of your entire family for good. Mr. Chima, all you have to do to get this working is to ensure that you ready yourselves, that you bring your sister over to this office first thing tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. So that we all can meet with Mr. Scott and Faith Givens. Can you do that? Yeah, sure, sir, sure, sir. Uh, I'll try my best. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, sir. That's okay. Thank all right? Thank you, sir. That's okay. Once again, thank you, Doris. <laughs> Hi, my star. You are not just going to be called a superstar, but an international mega star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, but wait, oh brother. He said I should come back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hope he does not change his mind. Change his mind, okay? Didn't you hear the manager? He said you are the perfect match for that role. See. All you will do for me now is to go inside, shower, and have a very sound sleep. Tomorrow morning, also. <laughs> my Dorobuchi sister! My Dorobuchi sister! Okay, let me go and wait for the big day. Go and sleep, go and sleep. I can't wait for tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
Dia punya uyo Mari coba dengan cakir What is it? Why are you shouting? My clothes. Oh my God! Jesus! No! Whatever you like. I'm not allowed her to take you to that useless audition. It's because of that audition that we lost our parents. It's still the audition that made you, you were not able to complete your master's abroad. That same nonsense audition made me to become a school dropout today. What do you expect me to do? You are so, so useless. You are so, so useless. So all you could ever think of was to burn all your sister's clothes so that you prevent her from signing the multi-millionaire contract she was supposed to sign. Had it been our parents was alive, I would have asked them. If truly, they were the one that gave birth to you because you are different from all of us. You are totally different. This is the height of wickedness. At the very peak of my life, you destroyed. I will never forgive you for this, even when I'm dead. Who is even asking for your forgiveness? Please keep it, I don't need it. All I want is for you to leave Karachima out of your evil plight. I will not allow you to take his life the way you took mom and dad's life. Not while I'm still alive. Witch. <laughs> She's nothing but a kill joy. A sadist. But you know one thing? She will never stop you. So long as I'm concerned, you must sign the contract. Trust me on this. When one way closes, so many other ways open. You must sign this contract. She even removed her clothes. Oh my God, what do I do now? What do I do now? And the only money I have on me is the money that will take us to that place. 
Oh God, this girl is wicked. My time is running faster. Don't tell me you have replaced my sister with uh, another girl. This is the, the lifetime opportunity she has been craving for. Sir, please, do not deny my sister this opportunity. Uh, something actually happened. Please, sir, I'm begging you, please. Don't, don't disappoint us. Um, what are you saying? Sir, something happened. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Just hold on. We brought clothes, shoes here for you and your sister. And this girl here, is the makeup artist. She will make your sister up, and after that, we will take you and your sister to the office. Huh? Yes. Huh? So calm down. Oh, Just calm thank down. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Okay? Amen. May God bless you. Bless you too. May God bless you too. Bless God bless all of you. Come on, guys. We're running out of time here, please. Uh, get the bags and other things. Please hurry up, please. Okay, Chilasa, 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 nearly, nearly. Oh my God, nearly, Chilasa, nearly. Okay, sorry. Um. Scene. You look extremely beautiful. Thank you, sir. I'm um, dumbfounded. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let's move by your phone. Oh, your phone. Let's move. so Gentlemen here, uh, but most importantly, Chilima, you recognize her. 
I want you to know, Faith, that we all are glad to have you here. Yes. Please, please sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Please have a seat. Please. please. Wow. She is exactly what I want. You are beautiful. Thank you, Ma. What's your name? Chidima. Chi, Chi what? What's the meaning of your name? God is good. Oh. Hmm. Uh, let's get down to business. Uh, you're exactly the character we're looking for, so... Yes, she is. Mr. Samuel? Yes, Mrs. Scott. Can you get us the contract forms? Beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, I have the contract forms right here on my desk. But I would like you to know that the gentleman sitting beside Chidema is her brother, Mr. Chima. Hmm? And uh, I believe we believe that he being the, her nest of kin is most appropriate to endorse the form on her behalf. That is, if you don't mind, please. There's no problem. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. So kindly give Mr. Chima. Yes, I will do that. But I'll also ad advise you that I would love to guide them with the feeling, signing of the form, so we can perfect a consummate relationship, if that's okay with you, Chima. Ah, yes, okay, it's okay. Beautiful. You know, I told you, your sister here is the luckiest person in the world. In the whole world, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, anyway, by the way, your travel documents, your travel papers will be done tomorrow. Mrs. Samuel, yes, Mrs. Uh, you help them and go through everything, all right? Sure, I'll do that. I'll do that. Then business is done. <laughs> but let's clap, please. Let's clap, please. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Samuel, I'm feeling parched. I need some water. You have nothing to worry about. I told you we are a very hospitable people and we are already ready, waiting for you. We we have lunch out there and we are all going to sit down together and enjoy ourselves. That's wonderful. Welcome to Nigeria. Welcome to Imo State, the land of hope. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's, uh, let's get going now. Uh, all right. I'll get... So you could not find something meaningful to do as a woman than dancing like a demented idiot that you are. Baby, please. See, I have to enjoy my life now that I come. See, my life is too short for dull moments. Leave that thing. Must, Baby, we could enjoy ourselves together. You must be very stupid. You must be a fool to ever say that. Just look at everywhere. You could not do the woman duty you were supposed to do, take care of the house and do house jobs. All you can do is just dance like any idiot that you are. Are you stupid? Please don't insult me. I'm sure you have a sister. Or rather, 
this is stupid, useless, varai popo, yellow fever. She can do the first thing. Epa, insult my sister again, I will kill you. I, I will skin you alive, you idiot. Get out! Eh? So, you want to fight me because of this thing? Eh? See? Forget, I will pray about you, but I will change your life like this, like this. I will tell you, my. Listen, if I go in there and come back here, then meet you here, you will not like what you no, see. No, I will Idiot. Finally, we smile again in this house. <laughs> By the time we come back from the shoot, you will be looking so different. I'm so happy. I thank God for His grace. He made it possible. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, brother. You know, you made everything possible. Thank you so, so much. Oh my God. You're my hero. Yes, so. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Good afternoon, my beautiful people, and welcome to another exciting day where we bring to you celebrity of our own time. It is celebrity table, and I have some beautiful people in studio with me today in the person of Miss Chidima, Mr. Chima, the brother. I still remember your boy, Mr. Testy, aka Mr. Toku Toku. Okay, don't go anywhere, we'll be back after the short break. Showcase. We have dry meat, we have liver. Oh, dry meat and liver? Yes. <laughs> Get me four dry meat. Eh? Yes. Uh, do you have ompa? Yes. <laughs> Get me chilled ompa. Eh? Can we dagger? Look, now mother break it. Hey, this sun is too much. Oh. Hey. <laughs> People, we are back, and I 
have some beautiful people in the studio with me today in the person of Miss Chidima and Mr. Chima. Jesus. First of all, I'd like to welcome you into the country. And I will also say I love the things you do. I'm really impressed. Uh, Miss Chidima, I love Is you. Miss Chidima, my sister. The way you do your things. And I'm a super fan. I personally followed you on Instagram and on Facebook. I love the way you do your things. Keep it up. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Miss Chidima. Please, I... As I said before, I love the way you do your things. Well, please, could you tell us how you, you, how you were able to interpret your role? It wasn't easy at first. Yeah. But I just had to put myself into character. And thank God for my lovely brother Chima. He was there to help me throughout the step. And the storyline has a little connection to my personal life. Yeah. So tell me, talking about your personal life, I think there's something more interesting about it and uh, I love to know it. Please, can you tell us more about yourself? Okay. I've been to hell. I am sure you know I wasn't born like this. <sighs> After the accident that claimed one of my legs, I went through hell. I faced humiliation, rejection. I can remember this audition I went to and one of the judges, one of the judges said to me, the entertainment world is not for disabled bodies like you. I felt so, so bad. Our daughter Don't just pretend you don't remember her. Remember her? Well, she, now she looks like your daughter, right? What? Don't tell me it is that girl that I'm watching on TV now. I God. wish you could learn from this. Hey. God's blessings does not look at physical challenges. God's blessings. It's not optional. You can come to anyone. And in some situations, I try taking my own life. But I thank God for my brother Chima. He was there for me. I thank God because he's like my physical God. And he's the more reason why I'm here. All right, Miss Chidima. You are good. Thank you. And I love to see more of what you are doing. Thank you. So tell me, what do you have to tell millions of Nigerians out there watching you in this platform today? Don't kill your dreams. Live up to your ambition. Your dream is your life. Your dream is your future. And your dream is you. Don't kill the light. Let the light live in you. And most importantly, don't take your life no matter the condition. That's awesome. Hey, hey, hey! Come Nah! Come and take your money! Come and take your money! Where is my phone? How am I going to explain to the world that I am one of the reasons that Kenneth did not marry her? You can deal with that, my dear. Ah! Deal with it. <sighs> Alright, people, I don't hear them from Chidima already. I don't need to say more, but I still remember your boy, Mr. Testy, aka Mr. Toku. You can follow me on Instagram or on Facebook at Official Tells. You can go to YouTube and follow us at uh, Press Nolly TV. We've got all you want and uh, we have more to offer. All right, see you guys next week. Same time, same section. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you, my brother, 
watching my whole your television. So Chidima has finally become a superstar. Mega superstar that they are showing her on TV. Hey, I'm finished. Oh, I'm finished. How will I see her? How will I see her? It has happened. I am still in shock. <sighs> what are we going to do now? Auntie, that is the reason I am here. I have gone out of ideas like this. But as for me, I want that gear back to Ekene. How do you intend to do that? When Ekene has already moved on with another girl. God will punish any girl I see in his house. So, what are you planning to do? Hmm. Auntie, first thing tomorrow morning, I will be in Ekene's house. I will do everything I can to bring that girl to Ekene. Hey! Hey! No, go ahead. On your fuku, millionaire. How is your uncle? Uncle is doing fine, but that auntie is so wicked. She beats me without minding if I'm her husband's sister or not. You mean she lays her hand on you? Yes, that auntie. She smokes like a mad woman and talks back like. I see Uncle is a rat. She smokes too? Yes. Hey. If I catch her smoke in this house, a king, eh? I will kill her that day. Mm. Tell Uncle to go and bring back and teach him now. That auntie is very nice. This one that is a Shut very up your name! What is wrong with you? How can you advise your uncle to go and bring a cripple in this house? Are you mad? Your name is Eh? If I hear anything from your mouth again, you will see what I will do to you. Are you crazy? But, mom. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to But don't worry, I will teach you. Cutsy demands you knock before you go into people's house. Hi! Anamu. Amanana. Let uneducated thunder fire that your mouth. So I should knock on my brother's door before coming in. By the way, who are you? And what are you doing here? Why are you smoking in my brother's house? Oh my god. So you're my sister in law. Anamo. Anamo. You never told me you were coming now. La la ho. Amarana. Sister what? I am your brother's wife. Emo! Emo! Okay. Okay. Who is this? <laughs> is this sister, you said you wanted a 
church girl now. Hey, she's a church girl. I met her in church. Sister, she's a prayer warrior in the Buski. Yes, Sister, I met her praying in the Buski. The whole stuff. But that's what she was doing when I met her. You wanted it. You wanted a church girl. That's the church girl now. Church what? what? Eh. Is it you? Yes. If you know what is good for your life. Kindly pick your things. That is if you have any. Pick your things and leave this house this minute because you will not like what I will do to you. You must be very business and stupid. Ah! Ash, what? See, let me tell you. If anyone will leave this house, it is you, not me. Because this is my husband's house. In your dreams. Fuck you. Yeah! Hello! Hey! By the way, let me tell you. My brother is mad. You called me a village rat, right? Sure. I will show you what a village rat does to a bag of uh, ice uh, uh, Wait, sir, wait. Me? He said I'm married who? Married to who? Who am I married to? I know your brain is malfunctioning right now. But don't worry yourself. I will come back to you later. Let me first deal with her. You can go. I should go. Eh, no problem now. I will go. Um, Lion, activate. Finish the video. Oh, yeah, madam. Out. <laughs> go west. I can see you've lost your in fact, I can't I want to know that thing that is even giving you that call. Oh, you want to know it? Time to leave this house now. I will teach you a little of a man. You know the same thing I've been? Ask for that. Ask for that. Now, leave! One, two. That's it here. that things are not always the way you want them. It's your fault. Had it been you kept the real girl, things would happen this way. Who is the real girl? Who is the real girl? Who now? Don't you have eyes? Or are you pretending you don't know the real girl? Where is Chidima? Sister? Chidima is the real girl for you. Where is she? The same Chidima you said was not good enough for me. Now you want me to go back to her. It will not work. I will not do it. I will not try it. Why won't you try it? Eh? Why won't you try it? Is it this lion you kept in the house? That you want to now live with? Hey! She's very, very lucky. She's very lucky that I am hungry. My stomach is empty. Had it been I have loaded my fufu, I would have teach her bigger lesson. Oh, mommy, I thought you don't joke with your tummy. How come you didn't eat before coming now? Go 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 go! Me check on some. I never cook any cooking. I don't pan. Man, I never have one cooking. Okay. That 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 auntie is very strong. Go. In fact, let her thank her God, but it, I will st just tell her that I will still teach her a bigger lesson. My brother, we need to go and bring back Chedema. Who? Oh, what do you mean, we? Is there any word like we here now? 
there is no we and it is too late. It is too late. Eken, what made it late? Why is it too late? I want to know. Sister, it is too late. Too late because I cannot go back to Chidima. I followed your instructions. So you wanted a church girl. Beautiful. I got one. She's inside. Very quiet. Um, listen, prayer warrior. That's what she is. Uncle Tara, no, no, no. Is it that mad dog in the house that is a church girl? Ekene, where do you even pick that thing? Eh? I want to know. My brother tell me. Did you pick on the street? Or in these uh, prostitution houses? Where did you pick her from? Because I don't understand what is there. That thing is too dangerous to your life. Oh. Ekene, swallow your pride and go back to your wife, Chidima. Don't you know that she has now become a millionaire? Her name is everywhere. She is now a superstar. Eh? Ah, Ekene, Ekene, Ekene. Sister Mara, you, you've succeeded in ruining my life. You succeeded in chasing me out of my dream. Now you want me to go back to a marriage because of money. Since I can never try it. I am way, way far bigger than that. I cannot do it. I can never make you big. Are you big in money or big in size? I don't understand it. Hey! Why do you love poverty this way? Why? Papa was not proud like this when he was alive. Sister, I cannot go back to the girl. It is simple. I can never go back to her. No matter what, I will not. I will not try it. Talking about Papa, Papa did not marry two wives. So I cannot try it. It will not start from me. Okay? You have a wife. She is for us. We will marry her. Two of us. We will marry her. Is it this one inside? It will not work. Lie, lie! Ekene, mbao. It will not. Sister, have you seen it that it is not every girl that goes to church that is a wife material? Have you seen it? Sister, some of these people are just opportunists. They are looking for who to trap down, just like the one inside. Another woman? Is she physically challenged? Does she have clutches? Does she have one leg? If the answer is no, then go and look for one leg girl. Because I have seen that your destiny is tied around with people like that. Sister? Uh, I think you need to start going back to the village. Uh, that, because that is where your own destiny is now. Go to go our farm. My destiny is tied with some people with one leg. And sister, go back to the village. You're very stupid. For the first 35 years of your life, you have been working with your two legs. You have not made up to one million. Hey! You know what is best for you? Go and get a sharp cutlass and cut off your two legs. Your sister is rich. I have the whole money, the whole world to buy you clutches. Ah, mommy, what is it again? Which one is cut off our leg again? You're talking. Even you, you need your legs to be cut off. Is it not your fellow lady that is that is a millionaire? She's a superstar now. And you're here eating food in this house. And when I'm talking, you are talking too. Your two legs need to be cut off entirely. So that I have the money to buy you. And your brother clutches. Eh? He will bam. Eh? And so what gone? Can you go and go so? If you hear, what do you think I should do? So it's, it's no longer uh, uh, marry wife and be a mutual. It is now money. Hey, I cannot go back to a children's mouth. It is not possible. No message to me. You really don't mean to. Yes. Oh. Am I right? What is it? Why are you walking like this? Hi. Did you have an accident? Sister! Oh. Ah. I'm finished too. What ah. happened? Ah. My love! Ah. You need 
to see what that girl in the Kenneth's house did to me. Hey. Mm. Auntie. I did not do anything, no. I did not say anything to her. The only thing I said that was bad was that she should leave my brother's house. Oh, you need to see how that girl lifted me up and smashed me on the ground. Ah, as big as you are. She beat you. Hey, hi. The only thing I was hearing was Adana's cry. Hey, on my waist. Everywhere is pinning me at. Hey. Hey. Hey, whoa. Huh? That's all right. You wanted uh, Kene to marry a church girl, and uh, he did so. Huh? <laughs> this is just the beginning. <laughs> I think, uh, love, it's your turn to go visit. Who stop? Yeah. Yes. Me. Uh huh. Can go there. If she could do this to my my niece, as big as she is. You can imagine what she will do with me. She must be very powerful. Eh? Sister, we, we need to know what to do. No, there's nothing to be done. Don't go there again, no. You want to go there again? Ekene is in for trouble. Our company is ready to sign your sister at any cost. We have a tariff plan that she must do for us. So how long is the contract going to last? Because we have other telecommunication companies. We also want to sign their own contract. But just have it in mind that one year is a no-go area. Our tables are filled up. Hmm? I'll get back to you. Ah, uh, Steven. Uh, uh, what is it? Okay, somebody there forget. She says she wants to see you. Um, Chilema, are you expecting anyone? No. It's all right. Um, bring her in. May I bring her call? Thank you, sir. Forgiveness is that simple. Chinasa, you turned me into a weeping child. You called me all sorts of names. And you're here for forgiveness. I don't think I can ever forgive you. No. Mama Chima, please. Please let me talk to her. I know she will listen to you, please. Please now, let me beg her. Chinasa, remember I once told you that you will eat your words. Now look at you. You are seeking for forgiveness from the same person that meant nothing to you. You see? Sometimes life don't usually end the way we think they are go. You see? The irritated stone has finally become the cornerstone. 
Yes, I know. Now I've realized my mistake. <laughs> Please, it's not my fault. It's the outlook of the devil. Eh? Remember the Bible say that we should forgive ourselves 70 times, 70 times. Jidima, you have to 70 times. Eh? Have you forgotten that that same Bible says, suffer not the witch to live? Have you forgotten? I'm not a witch. Oh, I'm not a witch. You're not a witch like this. Mother, let me remind her that she's my sister, my true sister. <laughs> to a human and to forgive is divine. Because then... Um, <laughs> Chinasa, as you can see, I am not in the position to decide. She has the final say. Yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see. Stephen! 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 Share, you see this piece of trash here? Take her out of my house. I don't ever see her anywhere close to my gate. I know. Ah, Chinasa, 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 listen, listen. No. You've heard what she said. Hmm? <laughs> For your best interest, respect yourself. And go back to the village. Can we have carry a bed? Please ask for my flower. They go now. They go now. They don't need you. They go. They don't want. They go now. Remember the Bible says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, it will not answer my prayers. I forgive you. Hmm? You're my sister, so I forgive you. You forgive me? My forgiveness. Stand up. Hey. My forgiveness. Chidima. I know. I am the last person you expect to see sitting next to you. I know you will see me as the most unfaithful and stable personality. I want to ask you to forgive me. I know I carried out my actions based on side talks. I should have taken my personal decisions as a man. Please, forgive me. I shouldn't have listened to my sister who said, nothing good can come from a disabled person like you. I shouldn't have also listened to your twin sister who said you've had a series of abortions so you can no longer be a child. You know all these things are not enough to leave you. If you will find a place in your heart, please I ask that you will forgive me. Please, Chima, I know as a man you will understand better. Please, I want you to join me and, and, and beg your sister to, to forgive me. We can come back together as husband and wife. Okay, now. 
Hmm. Are you done talking? Can you answer me? Are you done talking? Yes. So you have the mind. Like you have the mind to cross my gates. <clears throat> Ekene, you're so funny. Do you know what? I hold no grudge against you. Thank you. Yeah, hold on. I'm forgiving you. Thank you. You're welcome. But we can never be together. How can I be with you? How is that possible? In fact, I would love to inform you that I have a very handsome man that I want to get married. And you're also invited. <sighs> can you? Anyways, the only thing I can do for you now is to take care of your sister's education, your sister, to any level of her choice. Hey! Auntie, thank you! You're welcome there. That's Bye. all I can do for you. See, Chima, you cannot let this happen to me, please. I, I know she listens to you, and I know she, 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 she can. Please, help me talk to her. Please. I can I can now. I wonder why some men are so greedy. Hmm? Despite all you did to her, she still accepted to train your sister to school. I am not contempted. Okay. Are you a bad twist? See my brother with her. Leaving that girl for the second time is a mistake I will live with all the days of my life. She did not take you back. Auntie, I know you have not seen it. You and Amarachi are the reason I am in this nonsense that I am into. For the first time in life, you're supposed to support me, but you refused. You pushed me to the world. I know you'll be happy now. Oh, shut up your mouth there. <coughs> shut up. <laughs> Look at you. I'm so ashamed of you. So you want to go about telling people that it's your sisters that made you to marry the wrong woman? Is that what you want to do? Mm -hmm. huh? When you, as a man, you are supposed to stand your ground. Mm -hmm. And take your decisions, yes. especially when it pertains to marital issues, without listening to anybody. Yes. Let me tell you, no matter how you paint it, you are the reason for whatsoever problem you find yourself right now. Mm. And you're going to make more mistakes if you don't take responsibility as a man and take decisions for your life as you should. Nonsense. Mommy, hmm? did you know that Aunt Fizima promised to train me in my education to any level I want? I wish to tell her to take me to abroad so I will study biochemistry. What more do you have to say? What more? I'm sorry. 